Hey, so to demonstrate notifications, I'm going to use the same process that I used in lesson three, which is just a basic manual task process. Um, but let's say that we want another employee in our uh, in our company to uh, thank the customer. Um, and uh, we want to be notified when that employee has thanked the customer. So the way we would do that is um, you click on manual task and you have a couple settings in here. The first thing we're going to do is assign it to that other employee. So I'm going to go over to admin and I already created another user just called employee, test employee. And I'm going to assign this manual task to that test employee by picking users and groups and then picking test employee here. The other thing I want to do is scroll down to notifications. And uh, I want to make sure that I have the uh, requester, which is me, because I'm going to start this task. Uh, I want to uh, be notified when this task, manual task here, is completed. So we'll switch that on. And I'll click Save. And I'll go ahead and start this process, which will uh, create a task that is assigned to the test employee. Uh, this is the manual task to thank the customer. So I will go ahead and open an incognito window and log in as that employee. And if I go to my tasks, you'll see that I have this uh, manual task assigned to me. So as this employee, once I've called the customer to thank them, then I open this task and I click complete task. Now, if I go back to the admin user, you'll see I have a little bell icon with a notification with a one up there. So if I click on that, you'll see that I received the notification called um, manual task, thank customer, um, and it was done by the test employee. So this is your notification that that, um, that task has been completed. So I'll just click dismiss all for here. And that's how notifications work for a task. Now, you can also do notifications for the entire process. If I go to my list of processes and I click on configure, and then there's a notification tab here. And this allows me to send similar notifications, but around the entire process. So um, for request started, this is really only useful um, if you have a sub process uh, because uh, and you know and you've you've chosen um, uh, the admin user to be the person that started that sub process, but it gets triggered by another process. Otherwise, you don't need to be notified that you started a process. You you can if you want, um, but that's why this option is here. Um, but these other ones are useful if somebody else has permission to cancel the request. Um, or to just get notified when the entire process, when your request is completed, um, you can turn these on uh, so that uh, you get notified if you were the one that started this request, or, um, uh, or if anybody who has participated in the process itself, um, uh, they can get notified as well. So that's how notifications work. Thank you.